This is Lizzie. She is an eight-year-old female border collie. She was referred to us by another veterinarian after being hit by a car. You can see that she's carrying her right hind leg and has no use of it at all. That's because the right hip is no longer in the hip socket. This is an anterior dorsal coxofemoral flexation. We were able to replace it using closed techniques without resorting to surgery. Here you can see that we've replaced the hip back into the socket. This lateral view also shows that the hip has been replaced successfully. And here she is the next day with a good attitude, doing very well. Her leg is in a special type of bandage called an emer sling. This sling is engineered to keep the head of that femur pointed into the hip socket so that healing can occur. In order for the hip to completely luxate like this one, the ligament that holds the hip in place must have been completely severed. This model shows the situation. The head of the femur is held in by this short ligament represented by this string on the model. In order for the joint to luxate completely, that ligament must be severed and it does not heal. This is a model of a dog and you can see that on the front leg the scapula has no bony attachment to the axial skeleton. We humans have a clavicle that connects our shoulder to our sternum, but in dogs there is no bony connection. In dogs the clavicle is what's called vestigial and serves no practical purpose. The shoulder blades are just leaning against the rib cage and are held in place by powerful muscles. So what we're hoping for in this case is that the back leg will become like the front leg and become held together by the powerful gluteal muscles in the area. Here's Lizzie immediately after removing the sling. You can see that now she can use her leg. The fact that she is using her leg tells us that the hip still is in the socket following our closed reduction. And here she is just a few days later. The excoriated area on the inside of that right hind leg is road rash from the original injury. Lizzie is gaining strength and normal activity on that leg in just a few short days. We expect a full and complete recovery that Lizzie will have a happy life as if this had never happened.